Good afternoon. I'm Tim Diaz, and I'm a genetic counselor. You can call me Tim. Genetic counselors are professionals with specialized education in genetics and counseling to provide the personalized help you need to make decisions about genetic health. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're here today because Paul has a genetic condition. Good afternoon, Tim. What does that mean? How did this happen? Well, our bodies and all of their parts, like our skin, hair, heart, and all other organs, are made up of millions of cells. Cells are the smallest units of our body. They maintain and take care of the function of our body. Each cell contains structures called chromosomes that contain the body's hereditary material. And on the chromosomes, there are smaller segments called genes. Genes are made of DNA. Genes contain the instructions for everything our bodies make and do. Each gene provides instructions for something specific in our body, in the same way that recipes provide instructions for specific dishes. And chromosomes are like a cookbook. Chromosomes contain all genes, same as the cookbook that contains all the recipes. Like Granny's cookbook. Mmm, I really like ground tamales. Most of us have two copies of 23 different chromosomes, with a total of 46 chromosomes in each cell. One copy of each chromosome pair, from 1 to 23, is inherited from the mother, and the other copies from the father. The same happens with our genes. We have two copies of each gene, which we inherit from each of our parents. That's the reason why family members look alike. Exactly. Look, we have <laughs> the same hair. It's brown and wavy. And sometimes there can be changes in chromosomes and genes that change how our body works, causing genetic conditions. Two changes can occur with the chromosomes that could result in a genetic condition. The first is a change in the number of chromosomes. A child may have an extra complete chromosome. Instead of two, there's three. Or it may even be that a chromosome is missing. And the second is a change in the structure of the chromosomes. A chromosome may have either a little piece missing or have an extra little piece. These chromosome changes can create changes in the way the body or brain develops and functions. But not all changes in chromosomes affect this development and function. There are changes that can also occur in a gene. We all have differences or variants in our genes. They are what make us unique and different from others. Most variants in genes do not cause significant changes in the health of the body. It's like when there are two recipes for tamales and only one ingredient is changed. For example, the tamale can be pork or chicken, and that doesn't change the recipe much. There's still tamales. Exactly. These variations do not cause genetic conditions, but there are other changes in genes that do cause genetic conditions and can cause major changes in a person. It's as if the recipe for tamales is missing a main ingredient. As if the dough is missing. Exactly. Hmm, so this change in a gene can change the health of our body. That's right. There are different ways that conditions are inherited from parent to child. The genetic condition can be inherited from generation to generation, or it can appear in one generation. It's also possible that a genetic condition or a change in a gene is not inherited from the parents and appears for the first time in an individual. On the next visit, we'll explain how we know that Paul has a genetic condition and what changes in the chromosomes or genes caused his condition and how it's inherited.